Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Singles Love Tarot reading for July. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at your energy and the energy around you and see what's happening for you at this time. And this is for singles. So in this reading, we could get past, present, or maybe future energies. So it could be someone totally new coming in, maybe someone you're uh, dealing with now, maybe dating, getting to know, or thinking about. Or it could be something from the past returning. So again, only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. So Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, a general collective for Sagittarius, please, for singles. Thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Okay, let's see what we have so far. So we have fire and ice. So something could have been hot and cold for quite a while here. And whether it was just, um, you know, a lot of fire and passion. So we have 37 there, which is 10. And 10s are about endings, completions, full circle, but then there's always a new beginning. So it could be something to do with wintertime and summertime or fire and air signs. Leo Sag Aries or Gemini Libra Aquarius doesn't have to be though. And then we have here the communal dance. So we have five here. Fives are about change. So this communal dance to me is, um, I think I'm just going to read a tiny number five, a little tiny um, bit here from this deck. So it says here, this oracle brings you guidance. You are being drawn into a new community that is more aligned with your innate spiritual vibration. It may not be community, but it could be um, a person. You'll feel more at home there and able to share your gifts and talents more freely. And you know Sagittarius is all about being free and with greater support. Let go of relationships or situations that you have been holding on to out of fear. If they are meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away. Creating space for new connections or connection to come into your life now. This is not a time to hide in. Hide in what you have known, but to be open to playful connection with kindred spirits soon to be met. I think that's meant to say connections because that doesn't make sense. Be open to playful connections with kindred spirits soon to be met. Or um, or a kindred spirit. Wow. So, again, something could have been, you know, off and on, hot and cold. Uh, whether you were together with this person uh, passionately or physically or not. Something is say saying it's time to go into the new Sagittarius. And you definitely could switch these energies um around if you feel like you need to Sagittarius if you feel like something is someone else's energy you definitely definitely can do that could be dealing with an earth sign just that earth pop out here but I'm not ready to take yet so Sagittarius the cards that you see me placing over there Sagittarius are for your extended reading so if this does resonate for you and you would like to go the extended reading you can find all that information down below as well as everything you need to know about me in this channel, especially if you're new here. If you're interested in only new love and nothing of the past or anything like that, there is a new love reading that's already out on the channel. Link is below if you'd like to watch that, as well as other uh, June and July readings. You can check them out if you'd like to. Okay. So we have here Elephant. What else here do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. General Collective. And we have Swan. That's crazy because, and I'll show you these cards over here uh, a little later on, Sagittarius. And I just did um, Leo's reading. And with this other deck I just used, I got the Swan card. And now for you, Sagittarius, I have in this deck the Swan card. So if you're dealing with the Leo, maybe you may want to go check that out. But we do have here um, Elephants. No Elephants have very good memory, they're very loyal, they're true, they're all about, uh, they're all about tribe, family, social tribe, community, you know, they travel in communities, I don't know what you call a group of elephants, but 
Um, and we have 11 there, which is saying here, you know, being on the right path, going in the right direction. Spirit wants you to know that. A very uh, enlightened spiritual path here. And we have, I think that's Lord Ganesha right there. It's all about wisdom, higher knowing, divine energy here. And we do have earth energy. So it could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or signs in chart. And now we have Swan here, which is number 16, which is 7. Very divinely guided spiritual energy. So water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could have it in chart. You, them, whoever you're dealing with. But Swan here is a very uh, regal energy. It's a very... Um, poised energy. It's like Emperor Empress energy to me. And swans do mate for a lifetime here. Also, hmm. you could be, um, you know, maybe energy is a little bit different between you and this person, whoever you're thinking about for this reading, because we have a black swan and a white swan. And I also feel like transforming out of maybe some dark energy into the light. Sagittarius. Hmm, wow. Wow. All right, let's see what's going on here for Sagittarius single. So what I'm going to do here, Sag, is I'm going to take a look at your energy, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy around you. Let's see what's going on for the single Sagittarius at this time. Sun, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. And also, I'll tell you more about the extended reading when we get to the um, end of this reading. What is going on with Sagittarius? Those who are watching this for the general collective, someone rising in Venus. Whoop, I almost dropped that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sag. This is your energy. For me, it's Sagittarius, or it could be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio. So are you feeling like something is fate and destined here, but it's all about the right time, divine timing? This wheel is all about fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, going in the right direction with this wheel of fortune here and we do have 10 there so something either coming into full circle or a completion hmm, what is that about for Sagittarius Sagittarius four of cups so you can be melancholy and disenchanted maybe about um, a missed opportunity and when it comes to love or maybe an opportunity that wasn't given or accepted feeling a little melancholy and disenchanted and maybe you're feeling like if a love offer was passed by or not given in the past, that maybe now is the right time with this wheel. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what is going Oh, Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sag. I can't make this up. Did you see that fly? I hope you did. So we have the King of Wands here. So this could be your energy, Leo Sag Aries. Or for me, the King is Leo. And that's funny because I did say for the Leo reading, I did get the swan card, but it wasn't in this deck. It was in um, this deck here. You know, I could go through this whole deck to find it to show you, which Spirit's kind of kind of telling me to do, but I'm not really going to do that because that would take too much time. But, um, yeah, this could be Leo or your energy. So, uh, very... Fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. A lot of attraction. So it could be highly um, attracted to somebody, feeling passionate towards somebody. Do have a loyal energy down here with the dog. So you're either feeling like this person could be very loyal and true, or you're feeling that way towards somebody here. Hmm. Sag. Sag. I think you're, you're dwelling upon a missed opportunity or a rejected opportunity that came to you. I mean, however this resonates for you, but you're definitely thinking about that now, feeling like maybe it could be the right time. Page of Cups here. So this could be an apology, love offer, love communication, romance, terms of endearment or affection. Eight of Cups. So this is about walking away from something no longer serving us. Hmm. All right, what is that about for? You could have just recently, or maybe in the past, walked away from something that wasn't serving you. Or maybe, you, you know, you walked away or from this offer in the past, or somebody walked away from your offer in the past, but 
definitely now you're this is your energy but again you can switch it if you need to i feel like if you walked away from a love offer in the past you're thinking about it now feeling like it could be the right time now like things are aligning here with the communal dance you know it was hot and cold before maybe you know maybe your energy was hot and cold before towards this person but you're definitely gaining the wisdom here about this connection with the elephant feeling like this person could be part of your tribe all right what else here for so if you had some dark time dark times in the past and maybe that's why there was a rejection of this energy now you could have a much lighter energy about you now you've transformed again because you walked away from the dark and now you're heading into the light all right what else here for sag king of swords very clear energy here gemini you could have ear in your chart um and i'm just seeing the fire back there so you definitely could be thinking about a fire sign but don't have to be so we have two kings here the king of wands and the king of swords so either you're dealing with two people or this king of wands could be you like i said maybe you're thinking about an ear sign or somebody who has heavy ear in their chat or for some it's a fire sign or some it's an ear sign or they're thinking about you but someone is clear now on what they want and they're going to stand up for what they want and i feel like that's you or you know this person is coming in to do this oh my god we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck soulmate twin flame energy gemini energy again it's like somebody knows now this is their divine counterpart all right sagittarius so let's see Okay, I didn't ask yet. What is the energy around Sagittarius at this time? What is the energy around Sagittarius for the singles? Five of Wands. Something could be a struggle or a conflict um, with somebody else around you. They'd be going through some struggles right now. Inner struggles or um, struggles or conflict around them. So we have justice and the devil. Ooh. So they could be in battles right now with someone who is very, very toxic. Uh, they could be going through maybe a divorce or a legal separation here. Maybe cutting the ties that bind to a very uh, toxic relationship. We have Capricorn and Libra here. Maybe this person won't let go because you kind of see a tug of war, you know, arm wrestling here. Hmm. Huh. Okay. And when I do see the devil, sometimes it does remind me of the lovers. It's just a more intensified connection. And sometimes it can become addictive, impulsive, obsessive, uh, codependent. All right. So let's see. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Chariot. So I feel like here... Now this is the energy around you. So I feel like this is the other person. But again, you can switch. But I feel like here somebody is moving away from investing in something that they've invested in the past in here could be children involved because i do see this seven of pentacles energy she is expecting somebody could be expecting or maybe there is like i said children involved or this person is ready to move away from whatever they invested in, in the past and move on to new things like giving a birth to new things it doesn't have to have to necessarily mean a child it could be a new relationship, a new life for themselves here. But the chariot is about positive uh, movement forward, drive, ambition, balance, success, victory, traveling or distance. Hmm, okay, so we have cancer energy there. All right. And I'm, I'm just looking at that sunflower, like the seed of something new. So I feel like this person is giving birth to something new in their life. Definitely moving away from a unhealthy, toxic either lifestyle or connection or an addiction or a person. Emperor. Yeah, somebody's taking control here. Could be a divine masculine or someone who has a lot of masculine energy. Yuri's energy here. Taking control. Someone's taking control of their life and they're moving away from unhealthy unhealthy relationships, lifestyles, whatever it was here making positive movement forward 
Maybe you're seeing this in them now, Sag, and now you're wanting to move in. Maybe you felt like it wasn't the right time before because you know this person was going through this. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person went through maybe a period of lack. You know, maybe they were struggling financially, especially if they were tied to somebody who was very toxic. I mean, they could have been tied to somebody who had, or it was them, you know, gambling issues, money issues. What else here for Sag? So we have judgment and we have the stars. So, I mean, with judgment and then we also have justice up there, definitely can speak of divorce, legal separation. Finally, and with the star and judgment here, you know, star is all about healing, faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. Aquarius, judgment here is Scorpio. So judgment here is, you know, healing, forgiving, can be resurrection or resurrecting to heal, forgive, and let go. Past life energy, whether they're finally, finally overcoming karmic past life ties in this lifetime and birthing a new life and energy for themselves or they're finally cutting the ties that bind in this connection here and doing that deep healing work or somebody is here but i feel like if this is a divinely guided um, past life energy that you're connecting with again it could be that the time is now you know definitely here with the star guidance something meant to be and you know someone could be doing deep life review relationship review of their life and their situation moving forward Someone definitely is taking control of their life. You could, and like I said, you could see this now in this person and be like, wow, okay. I feel like this person is ready. I'm ready. It wasn't the right time before. Everything's aligning. Seven of Cups. And we have the butterfly there for transformation. So I feel like where it was confused, confusion um, in this whole situation, things are now transforming. Right. what else here and you kind of see like two energies of things being lifted and cleared away and transforming here and healing all right what else here for Sagittarius wow so we have the lovers and the magician so we have Gemini Virgo Gemini, Gemini, Virgo. So, again, manifesting a new beginning here. Again, past life energy with the um, infinity symbol here. Soulmate, twin flame energy with the lovers. Manifesting a new beginning with a lover. So, this person could also feel like now is the right time. I'm, I'm feeling like now you're both, like, your energies are aligning at this time, Sag. What else here? Yeah, working on ourselves putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work, building our foundations. What else here for Sagittarius? Three of Wands, yeah, waiting for the right time, waiting for that energy alignment, for all the stars to line up perfectly here. Wow. And you see, oh my gosh, you see the shooting star going right across the sky. Wishing upon a star. And now things are aligning. All right. What else here? This is resonating for you. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you, Sagittarius. Hi, Priestess. So someone intuitively knows here. And again, this person could have known, you know, that down the line here. I'm almost getting very similar energies to Leo. So if you're definitely de dealing with a Leo, I would go watch that reading. Um, we have the High Priestess here, Pisces energy. So even, I feel like even though whoever's on this side, um, uh, <laughs> or whatever energy this is, somebody knew even though they were going through hardship, whether it was with the person or in their life or whatever they're doing here, they like while they're going through this they also knew that there was this connection here with you listen to with intuition higher knowing very divinely connected here but again could be no communication between the two of you or very limited communication what else here for Sagittarius 
Oh my gosh, the sun. So we have Leo. I'm telling you, if you're dealing with the Leo, you need to go watch that reading and maybe even the extended reading too <laughs> because it was just crazy. So we have sun here, uh, soulmate, twin flame energy, Leo energy, um, happiest card in the deck. Lots and lots of healing here. Growth, expansion, happiness, joy, enlightenment, family. This is Divine Masculine Energy, but I mean, it doesn't have to be, Sag. I'll see here. Oh my gosh, and now we have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Divine Counterparts, the Masculine and the Feminine. Libra Taurus um, with the Feminine Energy here with the Empress. Sag, this could very well be your Divine uh, Counterpart here. Wow. All right, so let's see what these cards are for your extended. And I had... I have felt here, like the this side here, whoever this, this energy is, they're building and planting new seeds for themselves for a new life. And the Empress does give birth to new things, a new life. <laughs> Love, life, just new things overall. So not only do we have the communal dance, but we also have Dance of the Planets. These are for your extended, Sag. And Contemplation. Exactly what I felt here with the Four of Cups up there. And we have Carp here. And we have B here also. Sag. So if you're interested in the extended, and we're also going to look deeper into the energies here. How is this going to come together? What does it look like moving forward? Possible outcome in future? Will there be any obstacles or challenges along the way here? And we'll also read these cards, and I'll get you a bunch of these Lover's Oracles for you also. Sagittarius. So if you go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Again, links are below. If you go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I will see you next time.